guys, Jordan Rest here. I went to the flea market today and got a few items that I'd like to show you. And we'll start off with this uh, spud wrench I got here. I've bought a few of these before and sold them on eBay. Um, I sold a couple just recently for right around 40 bucks. Um, this one's a, <clears throat> a Williams, uh, number 207. Uh, the iron workers used to use this type of wrench. I'll put some close-up shots of it a little bit later in the video. <clears throat> Alright, next I got a G and an M. I need a GMC, but I got a G and an M, so hopefully there's somebody out there that needs a, a G and an M. But they were cool, I paid a buck a piece for them, so um, I'll put them up on eBay and see if somebody needs them. But they're pretty cool. They got a cool patina on them. All right. <clears throat> Next is this wrench here. Um, it's called a Proto Victor RT20 welding torch wrench. Alright, next I got this uh, Stanley plane for a couple of bucks, but what I wanted to do with it later on is uh, put it in a rust bath and see if I can make it halfway presentable again. And I got a Weaver rifle scope. I got this for five dollars. I have sold one of these in the past. Um, <clears throat> um, this one right here, the uh, the sights, the uh, what do you call them, the aiming sights in, in them, the crosshairs uh, on this one are really bad. Um, they're off. Um, so I don't know what I could sell this for. The last one I sold, I sold for 100 bucks. It was about the same condition topically. Um, there was some rust on it, um, but the sights were, were good. Um, the crosshairs were good inside. So um, we'll see what I can sell this for. Okay, and we got these vintage clippers. I ended up paying five bucks for these. Um, they're really cool. Um, the guy said they're his grandfather's and they're like 80 years old. And he said he kept them in really good condition. And uh, they got some rest on them. Um, they're just really cool visually to look at. But actually they, you know, watch. I mean, I mean they still cut even though they're in, I haven't put oil on them or sharpened them up or anything. <clears throat> but from the 40s, pretty cool. <clears throat> All right, then I got these uh, binoculars. These go up and down here. I guess these were for horse racing back in the day. Um, these are called Jockey Club Paris. Pretty cool. I actually got those at a thrift store. Um, I paid seven bucks for those. <clears throat> I got this jar opener. And it's like a, it's called a what? Forster Manufacturing Co. Jar Opener. Four in one jar opener jar opener, can opener. Um, so it has also these puncturing pieces on it too as well. And I got that for two bucks. And I'm already done. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the pictures.